All right, what's up, everybody? We are on the seventh episode of ReZero, which is called Natsuki Subaru's Restart. Um, I don't know what that means, except I can once again only imagine we're actually going to be dying and <laughs> starting all over again. But that's the thing. Last episode, we were suddenly confronted in a very shocking way with Rem, who actually, and uh, you know, of course, there's two Rems. I mean, I'm talking about the blue haired Rem that we saw, who was carrying the chain weapon. Yeah, which, uh, I mean, she must have been the one that killed Subaru then last time around already, right? She was the one ultimately responsible. With, but what is the deal with it? Why is she involved? And what is it going to mean for the future of the show? So many questions that are currently just on my mind, and I don't know what to make of it. Last episode already, the one sort of piece of, I think, uh, yeah, well, just clues, I guess, that we sort of got was, well, something that's obviously going to be metaphorical for this whole thing playing out. Because I wonder, like, does that mean that both of the sisters are going to be involved? Um, we know that they differ in, in certain ways, right? And so, last episode it was already Subaru sharing that story about the red and the blue ogre. And it only clicked with me afterwards then that like, oh man, the red and blue ogre, it's just like both of the rims, right? Red and, or pink hair and, and blue hair. Um it might kind of have symbolized them in a weird way. Uh, although this is a story that Subaru himself already knew from the real world, right? It wasn't even a... Well, actually, now now that makes me remember that... Um, uh, oh, dude, no, sorry. I, it just makes a lot of sense to me on the spot. Like, Rem was already showing such interest, the red-haired Rem was showing such, such interest when he mentioned the red and blue ogre. So now I understand why. I mean, she must have sort of already made the connection to her and her sister when he mentioned it or something, right? That's probably what it was. But but I mean, I wonder if the personality of these ogres, the way that it was described, also reflects them or not. Because, you know, the story was basically about like an ogre that tried to make friends with the people of the village or whatever, right? And then the other ogre sort of helped him out, but he was forced to therefore abandon him. And so you have one ogre that just chose to completely self-sacrifice and help out his friends, but then have to abandon him and just end up alone. And then you had the other ogre that was basically using his friend to get what he wanted. Um, yeah, and so it, it seemed a little selfish or whatever, right? So so one was very selfless and the other was very selfish. Uh, and meanwhile, Subaru himself pointed out how he would have, yeah, been able to make friends with the both of them, uh, which was something that the Rem that he talked to did not agree with whatsoever. But she also didn't really seem to be picking sides. And I think she mentioned how she found both ogles to be kind of stupid. So unless she views herself as being stupid as well, right? I don't know. Again, I can only imagine that it somehow relates to them, but we're going to have to figure out uh, in what way. Yeah, at the same time, we learned that there's some other stories, fairy tales or whatever in the book, right? And one was about the witch, the jealous witch, which is, of course, I mean, I haven't forgotten about that. Um... That has to do with, with Amelia or Satala, rather, right? Uh, apparently, I think the witch is supposed to be called Satala. But, you know, Amelia was not... Um, yeah, the, the first time she met Subaru, she gave him that name. Then it turned out that it wasn't her actual name, apparently. And she actually got mad at him for calling her that in the second episode, I think it was. But um, uh, why did she give that name then in the first place? What was the deal with it, right? Uh yeah, and then we also have, and that's the thing, like the witch, even the Rems don't want to talk about her or something. So I, I wonder what's going to be up with that. But other than that, we have this dragon uh, story about a dragon too, that's apparently real, where the dragon is sort of protecting the the land. He He's under this contract with the royal family, but oddly enough, the royal family has actually died out recently. And so now they're searching for a new king, right? And Amelia wants to become that. Um, but, but also something that the Rem, uh, that, that Subaru talked to, mentioned how um what was it yeah like the royal family sort of was murdered or they died in a in a in a suspicious way i guess so clearly there's some some type of political thing going on behind the scenes there right and uh that wasn't just by coincidence that that the royal blood had died out or something that was very much purposeful there is a threat looming over this place but what is that particular threat um does the dragon itself have anything to do with it? Do all these people like Elsa and now this Rem as well, do they work together first of all? Do they work for the dragon? Do they work for somebody else? What is what are the sides? That's still something that we're trying to figure out, right? And it's it's I mean it's early, you know, we 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 can't simply know at this point yet. Um the show does 
yeah, does a lot of slow build up, I would say, and sort of getting you introduced to characters, right? And a lot of lighthearted moments in that too, too, that aren't necessarily the most relevant, I think, to bring up in a discussion like this anymore, but still just fun, you know? Like, it's a fun show, but then at the same time, it has this mystery, uh, mystery sort of wrapped around it that makes it all the more interesting to me because uh, I feel like it always just adds, yeah, that little extra layer um, um, that makes me appreciate it all the more. So I can't wait to see where we go, guys. For now, if you enjoy my reactions to ReZero, of course, you can watch the next eight episodes straight away over on my Patreon page. That'll be linked on top of the description. Over there, we're already going to be on episode 15. So you can go and catch up on all those reactions right now. Go and do that. Your support is very much appreciated. And of course, allows me to make these videos in the first place. So keep that in mind. And then with that being said, let's dive into episode 7. Oh, man. Is this even gonna, like, is this gonna turn into a fight then? Would she know about a save point system? If someone seems suspicious, punish them. Okay, so she is unaware, the other one. What? A, but maybe she has understandable intentions like she genuinely thinks that subaru is bad <laughs> he's taking pictures that's his weapon oh wow oh shit proof now we're running man you you gotta you got a distance to run though what just knocked him over Oh, dude. Oh, man. Nah, we're screwed. Nope. We're just going to be waking up again. Oh. Oh, wait. No, this is the same one. I thought it was the other I'm showing up for a second, but... Uh, see? Does she figure that? He's trying not to get Amelia selected. So I, I think she just doesn't trust him. I really think that's what it is. The witch is called. So, is Elsa the witch? Secular. <laughs> Yeah. So it's not even that Rem cannot be trusted, though. She just doesn't trust him. And I kind of get that. <laughs> oh my god, what is this sympathy speech before he dies? <laughs> Gratitude. Yeah, yeah. Huh. You might, you might, you might want to explain to her what you can do. Yeah, I, I, I get him breaking down now, though. Man. Wow. Wow, she was still just not having it. Huh. It's interesting how the scene still continued from her angle, even when he was technically dead already, right? So, like, does she still get to keep living on in a world where he had died? How does that work? I don't get it. I'm sure they were. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? Try and make Rem not suspect you? All that he can do at this point is just leave, right? 
今まで俺は全て自分だけで変えようとあがいていた。だが、スバル、本当に大丈夫 ?It's gonna try and get her involved? エミリアに聞いてほしいことがある。エミリア、俺は今まで何度も死に。Here we go. Dude, I've been waiting for this since the start. <laughs> Oh no, what is happening now? Oh, this can't be good either, dude. See, this is why you should have been doing this all along. Because you would have realized. What is happening anymore, man? Who is this? He's reaching for his heart? Is that kind of like the sickness? The fear is engraved in me. Fear to talk about it anymore? Wow, separate yourself from me. <laughs> Just let me sleep. That, what the? There is like a power that has control over him. I'm still trying to figure out Beatrice's rule and all, um, her role in all of this. Because I feel like, I mean, she could play an important part here. Smell of the witch? Oh, uh, well, maybe she can actually tell us all about it. Yeah, the others seem so reluctant to even bring her up. Could it be the witch that's controlling him? Well, the powers were sort of displayed in a purple type way that's a little reminiscent of Elsa. I don't know, maybe I'm, <laughs> I'm drawing comparisons here that don't make any sense. Huh. Vitally important. Look at that. Oh, they're making some kind of contract in the same way the dragon had with the royal family. <laughs> Nonsense favor. Here we go again. He's feeling that... Is he feeling that sickness, though? Is that just the fear once again? I mean, it was genuinely making him feel sick, right? Hmm. Interesting. He went right back to sleep. Did Beatrice do something to help him? Shouldn't... I mean, yeah, shouldn't one of the Rems have come to uh, attack him then? Yeah, well, it's like she protected him, though. Wow. Look how nice and peaceful this is. I love how he constantly has to switch positions, but she's just staying in the same spot. Okay. I mean... Can this place even be found by the Otters? Can it be reached by the Otters? Seems like you're kind of safe here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Dude, you better watch out though, because she still might show up now. I mean, if she's willing to kill you in the fourth night, she'll kill you in the fifth night too. <laughs> this, uh, seems like she wants to show him something. Yeah, vice versa, I think. What is happening right now? What? She didn't die, did she? Well, that sure seems like it. Uh... Yeah, I have... My bad. Uh, we, we better not have the other one coming after us now. I mean, yeah. I don't know what to make of this, dude. What the hell? <laughs> so random. Died of weakness? Dude, at this point... Yeah, but... The... Now I'm starting to get... Yeah, and there is that. What? Yo, what just did that to him? Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. What'd I tell you? Now the other one is coming after us. Oh. I was gonna protect you, so I will. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, those powers, all the different colors, what the hell? Man, they're all just arguing here over, yeah, a dead rem. So weird, because all the characters are so friendly in a certain way, but then they're also such threats. I can't say anything. It's basically what, yeah. Oh, 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 dude. Man. Really? Yeah, I I'm not gonna lie, but I'm like a little bit at a loss of words too. I mean, I don't know what he would have possibly could have still done in this situation, you know? It's just chaos at this point. Yo, 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 oh my god. <laughs> what what are you doing now? What, but you're gonna try and find a different, uh... Really? Nah, you're not doing this. Come on, man. Yeah. I don't think, even if you know you respawned, it wouldn't make this any easier. <laughs> yeah, it's not simple though. It's not, <laughs> you can't just say it's the same as taking a regular step, of course. <laughs> Beatrice? So protect you, I will. I mean, for now that might be a good thing because one of them wanted to kill him. Well, well, they can be restored actually. 
How are we even gonna... What's that about? We've had this happen to us several times. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's a complicated relationship, that's for sure. Well, it was just disappointment in him for not helping them. Mm. Oh! Oh, <laughs> dude. Well, I mean, that might be what he's kind of intending, though. Okay, so what? Your powers don't work here? He's putting a... <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> Turning her against him? Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, you just don't realize what what fate he is embracing right now. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no comment. Yeah, just make him more mad. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, that's how we're gonna do it. Dude, I, I thought we were actually trying to make him mad and just kill us. He really just said, nah, fuck it, I'll do it myself. While still giving you the statement that I actually appreciate you. Oh, I love that. Wow, man, what a sequence to music. Oh, this is getting great already, man, yeah. You're warming up to the characters in the same way that he is. Wow. Actually, he's going to be the one to kill him. Oh, <laughs> the sound effect. Oh, dude. All right, guys. Well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And of course, the next eight episodes will be available straight away on Patreon. Go and check him out. Linked on top of the description. Oh, man, that episode was fantastic, dude. I'm loving the character development. I'm loving how, you know, Subaru himself is sort of stepping up his game and taking on additional responsibility here, right? And he's like talking about, I'm not gonna, gonna take the easy road, I guess, necessarily. Which, yeah, I, man, I mean, it's, it's, it's heartwarming to see. I can already tell why people sort of compared the show a little bit to like Steins Gate, because I, I get sort of similar vibes from it, you know? Friendship seems to be a huge core theme of uh, of this show. You know, just appre appreciating the people around you, I guess, and trying to do everything to to help them out, uh, which Subaru will be doing literally by, you know, committing suicide here and figuring out more information about what is actually going on. What was the thing that killed Rem in the first place? Yeah, on this uh, fourth night or whatever. It's really, I mean, really weird. I... I like 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 most of the time with the show but like i just don't know what to make of the information that's presented to me a lot of the times until it's literally sort of like spelled out to me um interesting also how subaru has this fear around him or this fear like the fear literally grasps him the moment that he's there trying to spill the truth to amelia right which i wonder if that has to do with the witch that's sort of possessing him or something right because rem mentions the uh you know the rem that died mentioned how he had the scent of the witch around him 
and that's the thing like we learn we learn of course at the beginning of this episode that Rem isn't necessarily bad Rem is not part of the of the uh, of the monsters or of the the evil side or whatever you want to call it she's not on the same page as Elsa whatsoever no in fact she's just protecting Amelia and she's just not trusting of Subaru whatsoever well that's a totally valid intention or motivation to me right I get that entirely even Subaru I think does right um so it's you know like he he ultimately couldn't convince her any other way but still it's like now he is willing to go back and and try to actually save her from this death that's happening to her while at the same time i guess protecting himself from being killed by her he's gonna have a very complicated uh task ahead for sure knowing all this information but it it does make me wonder like okay who's the witch then right who is this witch that they keep talking about i mean is it going to be as simple as elsa herself being the witch would make a lot of sense. I mean, she is the character that just looking at her literally, physically, her design, it's already... I mean, she looks like a witch. She talks like a witch. <laughs> Everything about her screams witch to me. But um, then again, none of the characters, or Amelia at least, realized it about her. But maybe the, the witch is just sort of a myth and nobody has necessarily even seen the witch. You know, the witch was mentioned in the fairy tale book, for example, too. But I, I still don't really know what these characters know in the first place about the witch then, right? They don't want to talk about her and stuff, but how much do they actually know about her? What is the deal with that witch? Um, yeah, those are all sort of questions that are currently, uh, you know, on my mind. But uh, yeah, I mean, for now, again, really enjoyed this episode. I love how, you know, Subaru decided... <laughs> it's like Subaru didn't even... Um, take the situation that far where he had Rem just kill him out of sheer anger or whatever he was just saying like nah I'll do it myself you know which is just such a sign of like the growth that he's going through and I'm absolutely loving that already uh, it's 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 yeah it's already sort of feeling like this journey that we're going on even his relationship with Beatrice is becoming better in a way um, he knows how to deal with her better and stuff I guess right where they had this contract and so yeah all of it is giving me great vibes and uh, I'm, I'm loving it so far guys i hope for now you enjoyed my reaction and review to episode 7 of re-zero if you did then of course the next eight episodes will be available straight away over on my patreon page which is going to be linked on top of the description over there we're already going to be on episode 15 so go and catch up on all those reactions straight away full length versions will be up there too and then for now i want to thank you all a lot for tuning in and i look forward to seeing you back in the next episode